but it took me a while to, to get here today. It's been a bit hectic. Oh, we have dragged here for nothing. Uh, no, no, it's okay. But it's to be safe than sorry, I suppose. Her throat is absolutely fine and she's got no redness in her ears, so. There must be something wrong with her. She wouldn't have a temperature otherwise, would you, darling? It could be a bug. It's going to be quite susceptible, you know. She's probably picked something up and then her temperature's gone up to help kill it off. So it shows her defences are working properly anyway. So what do you think I should do? Just keep my eye on her? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. If she's too hot, just put a bit of tepid water on her face cloth. She's going to cool it down. Get us a drink, plenty of fluids, and if she gets any worse, don't hesitate to call me, OK? Hope you're feeling better soon, Beth. A bit of luck should be fine by tomorrow morning, honestly. I'll see you later. See you, Doctor, and thanks for coming out. What sort of prescription is that, eh? Dose of open and dose of look. Right, here we are then. So, no telly, okay? Or games, or anything else, until every little last bit's been cleaned up. Now, I'm having a shower. If a tell rings, tell her I'll call her back. It's only to arrange times to babysit you. And I want every piece of that cleaned up by the time I'm out. Now things are a little bit easier in the flat, do you feel back to your own self? I'm getting there. Listen, Gary, I, I hope you don't mind me saying this, but I've really appreciated your support lately. Sure, I'm a doctor. I hate to be concerned about people, aren't I? Yeah, yeah, I'm not talking about Dr. Gary, I'm talking about Gary. You know, being there for me when I need to. So thanks. Thanks. Yeah. Right, well, I'll see you later. Bye. 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 Girl's not out tonight then. Yeah. Well, I don't know if I feel up to after a day like today. I might send Katie and Sammy out without me. What's that? Josh. Josh. And the doctor said she was there for all right. Yeah, just that we should keep an eye on her. Can you happy with that? Oh, I've got no choice, have I? Major Prezi. Rachel, I said no. It's throwing money away, money you can't afford. This is your health we're talking it's about. It's too big. You can't put a price on your health. Ron, over the last few weeks, how bad has Mike's tooth ache been? Terrible, love. He's been in the right state. And what's it been like for the rest of them to put up with it? I feel like a bear with a sore head, and we've all had to put up with it. I love you too. Thank you for your sympathy. Right, it won't be long. I've got a meeting with our Jackie and Max. See you in a bit. See, we're all fed up with the tooth ache, not just you. What's going on about to meet with our Jackie and Max? Don't go changing the subject. What do you want to take measure for? Never mind that. Look, you've been in agony for weeks now. And the only thing stopping you from getting it sorted is your stupid pride. Look, we've got the money. I've made the appointment. So that's it, you're going? Great. End of story, Matt. Just do it. Then we can all get back to normal. Something. Whoa, hang on, not again, not in the mood you're in. I'll go, you'll only make things worse. Uh, how could I possibly make things worse? Temper, temper. There's nothing wrong with my temper, I'm fine. Listen to yourself, you're halfway to kicking the door down already. And, uh, hang on, what do you think you're doing? He's suffering, like I said this morning. Maybe we should try the friendly approach. So we can't change the fence line without formally changing the boundary. Yeah, and we can't change the boundary without me losing some land, which is what's worrying me. Well, look, you've got your tape measure. Why don't you go and look at what I'm suggesting? You can go out there and measure it and see what you think. It's only a matter of a few square metres. Hey, it won't be only square metres at all, mate. If we do change anything, it'll be done in proper measurements, feet and inches. He wouldn't be wanting his payment in euros, will he? I don't want to hear another peep out of you. I had Dr. Park complaining yesterday. Now Mrs. Park can't hear herself think because of you and your racket. Oh, it's not all just your fault. <gasps> it's the walls as well. They're really thin. He's been told I don't know how many times. I'm at the wall and I'm... I'm... Oh, I'm not making excuses. But when you're on your own, you know... Oh, I just can't cope some days. I don't know what to do. Well, if you've got the time, you could get us a couple of glasses and a corkscrew. Are you for real? And then you could try calling me Gabby instead of Mrs. Paul. We could just take it from there. 
we move this fence post from here, we cut off the garden from there, and recite the fence post where Jackie is now. That makes perfect sense to both of us, surely. Look, I'm being coarse, you see, and not obstructive. It's the people that come after us that we've got to think about, you know, what suits us might suit them. Oh, Dad! Jackie, love, it's the long term we've got to think about here. You can't just think about yourself in all this. We're the ones putting up with you. I mean, you're driving us all mad just because some stupid tooth. What are you looking at? I see what Max and Jackie are doing. Someone from upstairs before, but she didn't something with me, Dad. And what the hell are they were doing? I don't know. But whatever it is, we're not included as usual. Ned, you coming have a look at this? Trying to get back off here. My dad, Max and Jackie. They're out the front now. Oh, she'll be paying for it. The Queen. 